Let's go through again. Sure. First time a man in his 50s did. Uh, he handed me a cassette tape. And uh, the first thing I needed to figure out was how to listen to it. Uh, fortunately, uh, 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 Dan, uh, uh, who's a PA on the film, had a cassette deck in his car. We got in, we listened to it. And it just, uh, it honestly broke my heart. I thought it was, uh, it was the first time I had actually heard a song that spoke authentically about the idea of what it is to look for purpose on a daily basis. And when I talked to people here in St. Louis that lost their jobs, that is what I would hear the most, is the idea about searching for, uh, for searching for purpose. And I, and I just thought it was so beautiful in the song, and I knew halfway through listening to it that I was going to put it in the film. I also knew I was going to have to cut it down a little, but... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Kevin, that is the stairway to heaven of folk songs. I mean, uh, the song is a concert in itself, uh, but it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, thank you very much. I'm so happy that you came to talk to me that night. You know, I, I've been getting, all day I've been getting asked questions about why did I shoot in St. Louis? And you look at a beautiful movie theater like this and you realize exactly why. It's a stunning city and I'm so, so proud to have spent four months here with you. Uh, It was, a, it was a pleasure. I mean, uh, it's a multi-part multi answer about why we shot here. One was a tax incentive. <laughs> and that's, that's a real deal. I'm, not, uh, I'm only half joking on that. I, I really hope that you continue to support that because this is not an easy movie to get made. It's not a movie for children. It's not a movie about, it doesn't have any sci-fi in it. Uh, there's no computer animation in it. It's a movie for adults. And these kind of movies are hard to make these days, and it's with tax incentives like that that we get to make movies like this. So thank you very much. Thank you to the state of Missouri for contributing to this film. And it had to do with the fact that, you know, uh, not as many movies had shot here yet. I felt like I got to shoot things for the first time. Now, outside of St. Louis, people will, you know, think that what we're showing is Wisconsin, is Wisconsin, when in fact is the Cher Cheshire Inn, um, and other locations that you will all recognize and you will have a snicker about, but I ask you to please, um, what is the expression? You uh, stretch your imagination, the, uh, that you says thank you, please suspend your disbelief in those moments. I greatly appreciate it. The real, what, the real reason that we ended up shooting here though, and the reason that it was a real pleasure was the people. And I, I'm not really playing to the crowd right now. I say this all the time. If I was in Las Vegas, where we also shot, I certainly wouldn't be saying that. I could not <laughs> wait to get out of Las Vegas. Um, but everyone was lovely here. You made the entire uh, uh, crew that came out of Los Angeles feel at home. Uh, the quality of life was wonderful. And even George, who normally is a guy who can really never leave his hotel room, was treated like a human being. And I think that's a quality of the Midwest and it's a quality of St. Louis. And I hope you guys never lose it. Um, I, uh, you also have the best extras in the world. And I, I'm beginning to feel like I'm at a political rally. And that's why you should go No, I mean it. You know, in LA, the extras are kind of fed up, um, and they're over actors. They are people who are actors. They're annoyed with uh, uh, being extras, and honestly, it, trying to encourage them is very difficult. And I can't tell you whether it was a group of ten people or four hundred people. I would talk to the group of extras about what's going on in the scene and why uh, you know you should be moved in a particular way or another. And everyone would really take it on, and, and their performances are wonderful. So for anyone who is in this movie, no matter how small or big inside of tonight, uh, thank you very much. You were great. So, um, uh, it seems friendly faces all around. Um, I hope your blues do better. Uh, not sure if I want to get into that conversation again. Um, I do want to thank the blues, because the blues actually brought the entire cast and crew out to a game. And, uh, uh, it was a real pleasure seeing hockey games all here. Let me tell you, I guess, I guess, how we doing? Uh, I, 
few more minutes. A few more minutes. All right. That's okay. I can stretch. I got tons of material. I, uh, I'm actually, it's actually very fitting that I'm here tonight because I've been on the road for over a month uh, with this film in almost a new city every day. And I talk to audiences of film fans. I talk to college students. They're, they're the roughest. Um, and, uh, and journalists and it, I'm thrilled that this is the last crowd that I'm going to introduce this film to uh, before the movie comes out. Uh, there's a lovely sense of finality to that. I found this book seven years ago. Seven years ago, I was trying to make my first film called Thank You for Smoking. I had written a screenplay and nobody wanted to make that film. Nobody wanted to make that film. Uh, no studio, no mini major. Uh, it was one of those screenplays where people would say, that's a great script, you should really write more. Uh, but no one would actually say, let's go make this thing. And I remember at the time, I was making short films, and I was making commercials, and I was trying to find what my first film would be. And I remember, Dude, Where's My Car was offered to me twice. Uh, and it was very hard to actually say no to Dude, Where's My Car, because, you know, that was a movie that actually come out and play in movie theaters. And that was all I have ever wanted to do, was actually make movies. But I said no, hoping that I would get to make movies that were personal, that were from my heart. And it was around that time that I walked into a great bookshop in LA called Book Soup, and I found the book up in the air, just sitting there on a table. And I began reading it, and it spoke to me. Uh, and I immediately started writing. I got about 30 pages in, 